Anyway, here with Reaction, the author of the upcoming book, uh, For Such a Time as This, My Faith Journey Through the White House and Beyond, outnumbered co-host Kelly McEnany and Fox News contributor Ari Fleischer. Ari, we start with you. Your take. Um, it seems to me that there's a lot of projection in this world. <laughs> what a memory lane you just walked down of poison injected into the American body politic by CNN. Look, Sean, you cleverly, humorously called Joe Biden a sippy cup president. What did CNN do to the nation by telling everybody all the time that the 2016 election was illegitimately won by Donald Trump because he colluded with Russia, influenced the results of the election, and then all the pylons for four straight years basically questioning the president's legitimacy, and as you point out, the Hitler, the Mussolini, all the other references to fascism. And you then know, CNN uh, says it's the other guy? I mean, it just can't work that way. So good for you, Sean. You blew a whistle, and I guess CNN doesn't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. And, you know, the difference, too, Kaylee, and congratulations on your book. I'm looking forward to reading it when it comes Thank out. You. Um, but I'd like to say, and I say this often, yes, I'm a member of the press. I am a talk show host. If, if, well, what is a talk show host? I can produce thousands of hours of straight news coverage on radio and TV, thousands of hours of investigative reporting that we do that others do not. Uh, we talk about culture, we talk about sports, and yes, I give my opinion, and I don't hide the fact that I am a, a loud, proud, unapologetic, unapologetic conservative. I'm like a whole newspaper. They say they're journalists. They're not journalists. That's a lie. Yeah, you've done more journalism than any one of them. I mean, I watched you through the Trump years unravel the Russia collusion conspiracy theory layer by layer, week by week. And meanwhile, I got to tell you, Sean, I'm a little worried for you. I got a little fatal attraction vibe as I was watching those clips uh, from Brian Stelter. You know, his, he does not have reliable sources, but he does reliably stalk you. Uh, you remember he asked Jen Psaki, you know, what's the press getting wrong? He's fawning coverage of Joe Biden, fawning coverage of Jen Psaki, crazy. And then he broadcasts in his boxers. And, you know, it appears many CNN hosts have a proclivity uh, broadcasting half clothed, both him and then, of course, Jeffrey Tubin. They've got a lot of issues. No wonder the decline in viewership. Yeah, why do you have to bring up Jeff Tubin? That brings up very <laughs> bad memories for anybody yes. that has a, a soul and a conscience. You know, the, the thing that I find most interesting, you know, and I was quoted last week somewhere saying that I, I just don't care what other people say, Ari. Whatever, whatever switch I'm supposed to have that cares about what other people think of me, it doesn't exist. They seem to be so hypersensitive in their, in their little blue check bubble world that they live in that they can't take the criticism that they rightly deserve nor admit that they are biased. And, you know, I used to be a CNN contributor. I spent two years there, and I've got to say it was under a different president. It was not un under uh, their current president. It was a very different news gathering organization. And right now, the direction flows from the top. And basically, the top is to play to the left, play to the far left, use the words that divide the country, and go after Fox. Um, I'm writing a book about the media. It's called Broken. CNN's going to have its own chapter in it. And I'll tell you a couple of things, Sean. CNN put Michael Avenatti on the air 254 times in the space of less than one year. Michael Avenatti became the CNN go-to person. That tells you how wrong their judgment is going into this. Now, Brian Stelter talked about poison and bad words. Brianna Keeler, two weeks ago, one of their anchors, called Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky an ass on the air. I don't remember Brian Stetler telling her she shouldn't have talked like that, that that's wrong. And then Brian, in his monologue, accused you of t playing in violence, encouraging people toward violence. What about Chris Cuomo, who at the height of the George Floyd protests, when cities were under curfew across America, said, I don't remember well, seeing anywhere that protests were supposed to be peaceful.